Okay, well, I want to pull cards on what about being a president from jail? Okay, there's nothing so far that precludes that. So the question is, you know, how far would that go? Would they um, make new laws? Would they change uh, the Constitution or the laws that prohibit a felon from becoming president? I mean, I don't know how you could have a thing that a convicted felon could be president and could, could rule the country, guide the country from jail. Really, a convicted felon can become president? So let's look into this issue. So the, the overview on this is kindreds, okay? So what kind of kindred spirit would we have with this? I'm going to pull a couple other cards. I'm going to pull one from my, from my Lenormand deck, and then I'm going to pull one from the uh, Animal Oracle as well and just see what we have over overview of this question. So with kindreds, we have at the House, the Senate, okay, kindreds. So what type of kindreds, what type of um, thing in the House and the Senate, would they go with a felon or would they be banded together to change, to change things uh, to make a ruling that a felon cannot be president. Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. Okay. Now how that fits in with it, I don't know yet. We're going to pull our other cards and see what it says. With gratitude and grace. from the House, from the Senate, the kindreds. So if it's with gratitude and grace, I don't think you'd have a lot of gratitude and grace for convicted felons, con men, um, abusers of the law. Look <laughs> at Mr. Mickey. <laughs> so at the center of it, we have this strong man dynamic this mentality, okay? So let's see what we have above it. The message, a grounded message about the strong man. And this is about, you know, underneath of it is um, the public, okay? The public or who he is speaking to. In the past, we've had what's been offered up, what's going on now, more recently, things that are rapidly changing. Above it, we have this attempted manipulations that are going on. The foundation is trying to hang on, okay? trying to hang on. We know we have this MAGA cult that's being fueled and funded by the uber wealthy old white men that want to take America back uh, by, by, you know, 75 years. I was going to say 50 years, but way they want to go further back than that. Okay. So the challenge is what's being birthed our laws, our, our rules, our laws, our regulations, what is being birthed, that's the challenge. And again, that comes back to the question, would the House and the Senate change the laws? Who is the kindred spirit in that? Okay. 
What's being given with gratitude and grace? The outcome is what's being worked on, okay? Above it, we have the history. And underneath of it, we have a lot of the history and things being blocked, okay? Not being looked at. Let's see what's underneath of all of this, where it's moving, okay? We have the fish tails. We have what people are being fed emotionally, the messages. We have also that this could be a tower moment, okay? If we have a convict uh, president ruling from a federal jail, etc., well, he would just pardon himself if it was federal, okay? So we have this moving forward. They're, they're looking at it, okay, and they're moving. But it's interesting that we have them moving forward, actually starting to take action. Now, why is he looking overseas, okay? Are they looking at Putin? Are they looking at these, um, you know, strong men, dictators? And then we have sitting there trying to figure out the next move with this cup of emotionality. And these facing of losses, okay? And the victory. We also have to look at what's under the surface, what's being hidden, okay? And the strong arm of the law looking for our long-term, long-term outcome. This is not moving forward rapidly, but we know the Uber right has infected the courts, okay? And we do have a struggle with this, okay? So basically, it's say, you know, it depends on who we get in there. I have to say, when it comes to this issue, the strong man in the center of it, the message that's being fed to the people, looking at the, the history of manipulation with messages, um, we have underneath of it all, trying to hold on and blocking things, okay? Uh, what's being fed? And what they keep working on to try to um, see what's being birthed, it's, that's the challenge. What is being birthed? What's being worked on? Which side is going to um, win out? And it says it depends on who's in the House, who's in the Senate, the kindred spirits that would uh, gravitate to these things. Um, turkey spirit also, you know, what type of turkey? Are we looking at Thanksgiving where the family comes together, where you really care about, about uh, people, okay? Is that what we're looking at, okay? So again, there's a lot it is basically what I'm getting with this, it could go either way, okay? It is so important who we get in the House and the Senate, okay? And look at the history of what's being put out there because we are in the midst of a big struggle with this because of their court's manipulations because they have been in this for the long term, okay? When it comes to uh, what is being put out there, a lot of hidden things underneath of it, some victories, but we've also got there are also some losses there, okay? Um, very emotional issue. We have to think about where we're moving to because this is a tower moment with what's being fed, what's being put out there, 
the lies, the drama, the fishiness that's moving forward. So we have to take this seriously. We've got who in the speaker as the head of the speaker of the house now? Mike Johnson, okay? And uh, I just recently heard the thing on the 2025 manifesto, basically, where they have infiltrated the courts. They have been in this for the long haul. Uh, to try to railroad democracy and get rid of democracy and put in this theocratic, uber-right um, theocracy, okay? It's, it's like a Taliban, a Christian Taliban, but it's not Christian, okay? It's under the name of Christianity, you look at these ones, the white supremacists, these uh, Christian nationalists, and that's what's being funded by these uber, the wealthy uber right ones, and they have been working on this manifesto for years and years and years. They want to get rid of what's taught in school, they want to get rid of the history. They want to rewrite everything. Like, look what look at the good that slaves got out of it. They they learned, you know, trades. They you know, it, trying to rewrite history, trying to take history out of the schools. Uh, so yeah, this is a serious thing, and it depends on who we get in the House and the Senate. If we get all blue in the House and the Senate, then they can go ahead at that point and make some new laws and say if you're a convicted felon that you cannot be president, okay? You cannot run the country if you are a convicted felon. And so that's something we really need to seriously look at. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do these the two cards and see what else it's got to tell us. What else can you tell us that we need to know on this issue? Because that uh, 2025 manifesto, that is... It, 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 it's nasty. It's about what's being sold okay, that don't like the outcome of things. The wish-fulfilling card, this is by the wealthy, what they're pushing because they don't like what's here now. So they are, again, trying to sell this stuff. It's about what's being built out of their imagination and all the things that they are linked to emotionally, wealth, power, the dark things, okay? So this is what they've been building, what they're working on. The strong man, the strong man image, okay, again, that is being pushed by the wealthy for this dictator of transformation, okay? So we have the ones of wealth holding on to the secret agendas that they are involved in. This is some nasty stuff. Now, I just saw another thing today where this Catholic guy says, oh, he was shown the Antichrist. He went there and, uh, you know, it's going to be revealed. It's a world leader. And uh, everybody's going to become Catholic. <laughs> yeah, no. Everybody is not going to become Catholic. But we have the uber right, the, the very wealthy in their toxicity of things they're chained to and things that they are trying to put in there, like I said. Uh, where they're moving this forward is to rule over the families, the family dynamic. 
We've got this nightmare scenario that's charging forward down on us mentally, what they're pushing against anti-gay, anti-women's rights, etc. And there is the burden of all the stuff that these, these wealthy guys are involved with, what they're emotionally attached to that's still up in the air, but they are trying to bring into manifestation through this 2025 uh, scenario of this uh, manifesto, okay? Again, it's the new stuff they're trying to put out there, the men of wealth, that are manipulating, holding on to the money, etc. It's what they're offering to people, this toxicity. This is not for health and healing. It's only healing for them, but it is toxic for the rest of us. Uh, when it comes to the White House, again, they give, if it's a Republican that gets in, they give them this manifesto. A known policy. Scam call after scam call after scam call. So rapidly, we need to look into this and investigate it 100%. Okay. And we need to look at what these um, some of these churches are pushing. Okay. Um, Okay, and what they're putting out for leadership, etc. Especially these uh, ones that are, uh, you know, against really Christ, what he was teaching. Uh, we really need to be aware of it. These evangelicals and the ones like Mike Johnson, they don't go after what Christ was speaking. They always go to what the Old Testament. They want the letter of the law. They don't want the spirit of the law, which comes out of love and compassion. They want the letter of the law, rulership, and this is what's going to happen, and this is how we're coming down on you. And, you know, again, they thrown Christ out the door for the Antichrist. Like I said, it's not a specific person. It's a movement. Antichrist is a movement of moving Christ out of the church and basically putting the goat as the head of the church, the satan satanic, the egotistical at the head of the church and saying that they're teaching it under the name of Christ. Okay. Now I'm very surprised where this reading went, you know, that it went into this, <laughs> into this dynamic uh, but this is a very important one. We really have to get uh, the House and the Senate and the presidency in this next election um, because the right has that manifesto and they have been pushing for it underground for years and years and years. So on that note, I'm going to leave that here. This is not really what I wanted to see coming up. Today's my daughter's birthday. <laughs> this is not, you know, I want something light, something better to come out, but it's, it's saying it's something we need to really be aware of. And we need to see who is the kindred spirits in the House and the Senate. On what side are they on? So we really need to push for the House and the Senate and the presidency this go around. So on that note, I'm going to leave that here, and we'll see you online.